Oh, 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 oh my god, guys. Before you came round, my heart would never be much faster. Before you came round, I was ready to slow down. Good morning, wolves. It is early in the morning, and I am up for a meeting, heading over to the Bellagio right now. It is quiet in the casino at this time. No one is out. I guess everyone is sleeping. But yeah, this Vegas trip was very different to normal, because normally, I am going out, staying up late, and not waking up at this time, but because it was business related, gotta be up, gotta be ready to rock, and have to get some coffee right now. So that is the plan, and then off to Bellagio. Casinos are insane. I mean, this is just in the Bellagio lobby. All these flowers, insane. I'm not sure how I feel about the police volunteer here at the Bellagio. I don't know, I think I could probably outrun them. At least they're trying. Apparently the world's biggest chocolate fountain is here. World's largest chocolate fountain. 26 foot three inches. That's like four of me. All of that is chocolate. And it goes higher? No way. It's way bigger than I thought. It comes all the way down here. Two tons of chocolate were in that chocolate fountain. Now, it's time for the meeting, so I'll see you guys in a little bit. Meeting, successful, back at the room. Now we're packing because we are leaving Las Vegas and heading back to Los Angeles. The 50th pack in the last two weeks. Yeah, that's what we're doing, so. Road to LA, we'll be seeing you soon. Another five hour journey. Before you came round, my heart would never be much faster. Before you came round, I was ready to slow down Before you came round I was heading for a small disaster Before you came round I was ready to blow me down And then You look just like a swish of sweetie We can go Pit stop at Mad Greek Cafe. Are you ready for some Greek cuisine? I'm not convinced. So we decided it's a no go. Justin looked up the reviews and. Two and a half stars with 400 reviews and not. <laughs> I don't know if it's worth the risk. So we're gonna keep going and try to find something else. Sorry, Mad Greek, not this time. Two hours later and we discovered a new restaurant we're gonna try called Lola's. Apparently Milana found it on Yelp and it has what rating? Four and a half stars, 500 reviews. I went dark all of a sudden, but that's what we're trying. The real deal. Looks good. True Mexican food. Well, that was a good choice. Good job, Milana. Now we are back on the road for another three hours or so. We can go to the morning go. I think about is hiding and hiding and hiding. Your love is like honey to my soul. To the moon and higher and higher and higher Oh and well And you and you put the E in my everything everything put the oh oh well, well. And you put the E in my everything everything yeah. You my everything everything yeah. No need to explain to explain Now you can pull the trigger on
made it. Five hours later, and Ina is gonna pee her pants. She has been complaining the whole entire last two hours. But right now, as you guys know, I made a commitment that I'm gonna be going to the gym Monday through Friday, and right now it's Wednesday, and even though we just drove five hours, we're gonna go to the gym here at Justin and Milana's place. So it's gym time now. If anyone can comment below what this shirt is from, I'll be very, very impressed. I'm gonna be looking out. Okay guys, that shirt right there. Comment below if you guys know what it is. But now, gym time, all changed up. Wrong way guys, we're going this way. Yeah. We're going to say hi to Jesse, come on. Oh, friend! <laughs> yeah. Yay. Hello! Are you doing boxing? You against Milana. Yeah, that body's a blessing, girl. I ain't trying to pressure her. She messed with the temperature. I wrote the song, but I am the messenger. Uh oh, the pro came. He's gotta get taste sensei JC in the building. Now Jess is gonna teach me. I just got rocked by Justin, so now I'm gonna actually learn here. You're vulnerable, okay? Every time you throw a punch, you're vulnerable. So you want to keep yourself protected. Smell the armpit. Tip of the day. Smell the armpit. This is too That's what I'm talking about. I want you to yell like a wild hyena, okay? <laughs> Amazing! Uh oh. Look, we found the punching bag. Let's see what you got. Are you ready? Metropolis. There is no stopping this. Flowers and kisses, yeah. I heard you like chocolate. Light up the candles. Tune up this channel. It's the ride of your life, girl. Wow, good job. My room is Orlando. And I went into my bag and I, and I went like this to him. And. It scared the shit out of him, and he never trained with me. Oh. No way. This is a guy, a guy I had for like six months. So this is not a real knife. This is an aluminum knife. You can't get cut with it. It's hard, but you can't stab. You can't cut. That's a training knife. But just put your hands down for a second. Like the act of me going like this to you. Yeah, it's bad. It feels like it's like a life-threatening thing. So what you want to do when someone does this, this is a static knife. This is someone just kind of trying to rob you. Right. Right. They're not actually trying right. to hit you. Yeah. If someone wanted to hit you or hurt you or stab you, they would have done it already. They would have yeah. just. Came behind you, little ninja. Dunzo. Taking yeah, they really want to hurt you. But this is like a uh, power thing. They yeah. want your money, right? So what you want to do is get the knife off the line of your body, and the way you do that is by turning your shoulders and parrying it with your left hand. Parry it just like that. Yeah. The other hand's gonna come up behind the weapon, and what you're gonna do is drive the knife towards my face. <laughs> do it to me first. So hands come up first, right? You want to kind of talk to the person. Please, 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 please right. don't hurt me. The hand comes here. You're gonna control the weapon over the hands. So you control the hand and the weapon. You get it off the line of the attack. You control. Boom! <laughs> drive it back. <laughs> if someone attacks you with a knife, you're most likely going to get cut. Yeah. Just have that in your head. He's wrong. He's wrong. He's turned out to be a fight wrestle. I don't even know. But that was intense. I think I'm calling that quits for now. Seeing his first attempt on, on one of these. If you leave You got it's all in your head. Think forward. Think forward. Think forward. You got it. Do it again. One more time. There you go. Now you got it. Oh my god. There you go. 
So that's it. Finally made it back to the apartment. We are exhausted. We stopped at Trader Joe's on the way home because we've been eating out too much and thought probably a good idea to start cooking and being more healthy. What is that? Ina, I think we have a little bit of an issue up here. Oh no. Well, that's great. Why not do a Q&A and end off this video so that way you guys can get some of your questions answered. I know there's a lot of questions that you guys have and I thought this would be a perfect opportunity. All right, so I'm just gonna go through some of the most popular questions that I get on my videos. So, what camera do I use? So I use a Canon G7X, which is what I'm filming on right now. It's a small, compact camera, a little bit smaller than my iPhone here. So I don't use anything crazy, anything fancy, but I use the Canon G7X Mark II. The drone that I use is the DJI Phantom 4, and that's also the drone I'm giving away for the contest. So if you guys want to enter that, a link will be below here. Like that plug? That was good timing. Why are some of your videos not available on mobile phones? Well, it's really annoying. As you guys know, I don't care about the music on my videos from a copyright standpoint because I'm not here to make money off of my videos. I just do it for fun. And sometimes when you upload videos onto YouTube, they mark it as copyright and they don't allow it to be shown on some mobile phones, which is really annoying because that means you guys sometimes can't see it. It's not for all the videos, but it is for some of the videos. So if you've ever had an issue with watching a video on a phone, that's the reason. If you go onto a computer though, it should work. And I'm gonna try to make sure that doesn't happen moving forward, but it doesn't tell you until the very end once you've uploaded your video. So it's a pain. Are you South African? My parents are South African. They were born there, they moved to the United States, and I was born here. So I'm actually American, but I go back all the time. My family lives there still, my grandparents live there. But technically, I guess my blood is African, but I am born in America. I don't have any lenses for my camera. You can't, actually can't put a lens on the G7X. Yeah, so it's just like a small little camera. How do you make your money? You appear to be very successful, and I'm just curious what it is that you do. All right, so I think a lot of you probably know already what I do. If not, I'm gonna give you guys a quick summary. So I have an internet company. I started it when I was 15 years old. I'm now 25. 10 years ago. 10 years. Wow, time flies. Yeah, so I guess I started it 10 years ago. It's an online education platform, so it teaches people how to build businesses online around things that they are passionate about. Let's say you really love golf. How do you build a golf business? How do you brand yourself online? How do you market yourself? Things like that. So it's an online education platform and that is what I do. So I run that, that's my company. That allows me to live this lifestyle that I do to travel the world, to be able to make these videos for fun and for a passion because I have my business and I've been running it for a very long time. And yeah, so that's what I do. What software do you use for all of your editing? So I use Final Cut Pro. I had no idea how to use Final Cut. I recently just started playing around with it when I did my first vlog. Now I've gotten a lot more used to it. If you guys ever wanna start making videos or you're worried about the technical side of it or you don't think you can actually make videos because you don't know how to edit or whatever the case may be, I did not know how to edit at all. I'm on video number 28 or 29 now. That's almost, because I upload every other day, 60 days almost of videoing every single day. Over time, you just start to get used to it. You start to learn, things start to get easier. Practice is everything. So if you guys do want to start up doing videos and editing is the reason why you guys haven't got started, just download Final Cut. Adobe Premiere is another one, even iMovie, and just start messing around with it, play with it, and you'll start to get used to it. It's really not that hard once you get going with it. How do you do color correction? It's actually not as hard as you guys think. So there's things out there called LUTs, L-U-T. You can download them, put them onto your computer, and you can add them into your videos after you've edited them. So think of color correction, but like the easy way of color correcting. I literally just drag the LUT, I choose a LUT, Kind of like picking a, an Instagram filter. You just click a button and the whole picture changes. LUTs are kind of the same thing. In the Final Cut, I drag the LUT onto the actual video once I'm done editing. Then I pick which one I want and it adds a filter essentially to the whole video. And then it makes the video look way cooler. So it's color correction, but it's the easy way. And then obviously you can go in manually and I go into each clip and I manually do it to make sure it looks good throughout the video. But I'm not perfect at it. I'm still learning as it goes. Some videos may be really blue that you guys watch, some too red, some orange. 
and I've even seen comments where you guys give me tips on how to do exposure and stuff like that. So I am new to this, I'm learning as I go, but it's not a reason to not make videos and not try at least. So I'm gonna end off today's video with this because I think it's important. If you guys wanna start making videos on YouTube, just get out there and do it. Play around with it. Even if you get five views, it doesn't matter. At least you're getting content out there, you're getting more comfortable in video, you're having fun with it, and as you go, as you create more stuff, you'll be more and more comfortable, you'll get more views, you'll be more confident on camera. Then it just kind of starts like snowball, you know, as the snowball goes down the hill, it gets bigger and bigger and bigger, it'll be the same thing. As you get more comfortable, the snowball gets bigger, everything grows, it's like the tipping point, and then things blow up, and you're killing it and it's amazing and yeah so that's me right now I'm trying my best to make it bigger and bigger it's time consuming it takes a lot of work but i love doing it and you guys are my inspiration so thank you thank you guys so much for watching my videos if you guys weren't commenting or liking my videos or anything it would be a lot more difficult honestly you guys are the best i really do appreciate it i'm gonna try to come out with a lot more cool content coming your way I'm excited about being in LA other than the rain. It's kind of annoying, but hopefully it'll clear up soon. I guess that's it guys. So thanks again for watching. I appreciate you guys. You're the best. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Also subscribe if you guys haven't already. Keep being a wolf. Follow your dreams guys. And I'll talk to you in the next video. See ya. Yo, look, it's like a switch to sweetie We can go higher, higher, and higher Mouth full of ghosts, feel like masterpiece I hear it blink, blink, blink when they speak I'm higher than Mercury, I'm diving all in your sea And girl, when we making love, it feel like we meant to be Season love, so it love, you set my soul on fire